Well, hello there. Welcome back to another PS5 Tips and Tricks video. I'm going to show you how to make this look like this. Today we're going to be using all this stuff, and this is 20 amazing ways to customize your PS5. If you're new here, you should subscribe not to miss out on that sweet PS5 knowledge. Now let's get into it. Number 20, faceplates. First up, PS5 faceplates. Sony obviously has released their own faceplates in keeping with their Cosmic Color series. However, if you don't like these, you can go to other sites such as Etsy. Sony only managed to take down the brand's faceplates as far as I'm aware. So here are some awesome examples of themed faceplates you can buy and all the links are down below. Number 19. So you can buy these PlayStation branded stickers and they go in a mold that is just behind this cutout for the PlayStation logo. So what we're going to do, we are going to take off the faceplate. So to take off the faceplate, you want to put your hand up in the rear corner. Just pull it back slightly and pull. So then again, hand on the rear corner, pull down. Don't need to pull hard. Then we do it nicely. And you can see here, there is a mold for this sticker. Put the PlayStation down. There we have the sticker. And there we go. There it is. No, there isn't one on the other side. There's only on one side. And there we go. When we get around to putting the face plates on, we'll be able to see the sticker through the cutout in the face plate. Number 18. You can also buy these decals that you stick on the face plates and the central part of the PS5. Right here we have the instructions, peel, place and hair dry. Doesn't seem too difficult, which means we want this decal and there is a symbol where the cutout is going to be. It's not actually cut out so I'm going to have to cut it out with a knife or a scalpel. But all we have to do, line it up, yes it fits nicely, fits perfect. We're gonna perfectly. That was pretty good. That was much more difficult than I envisioned, but I'm really happy with it. Now, what we're gonna do, because the sticker isn't cut out already for the cut out of the PlayStation logo, I've got a sharp, pointy knife which I've sharpened, make sure it has a fine point like this one and I'm literally going to very gently cut out that's pretty good on to the next stick so that went very well what I'm going to do, just put the edges so they're not hanging down, just let them rest on your forearm. I think the other side came out pretty well too. Got a little small division, that looks pretty good. Okay, next up we have the part, the part for the actual front of the console itself. Pretty good, I think. Okay, we have the finished products, and I'm very happy with how they came out. And you will have to wait till the end of the video to see it all put together. Now, for a trick that no other YouTuber is going to show you, I have these LED strip lights that go onto the fan and illuminate through the grills of the air intake, and it does stick directly onto the metal grate for the fan so the metal grate can still be removed easily okay so here we have the product and it does not have sticky back plastic what it has is these dots that come with it these double-sided sticky dots and we have to peel them off and once we've done that it's ready to get stuck on do yourself a favor and don't put the wire over one of the screws just so you need to remove the fan for any reason 
reason you don't give yourself a headache. Make sure the wire is facing the back. Beautiful. Stand it up. Okay, so you can get these decals. This is going to be number 16, and they stick over the PS5 light indicator and they permanently change the light. That side done, come out very well. Number 15, you can also get these plastic holders slash stands for the PS5 controllers and headset, but I personally wouldn't recommend using them. One, I think they're ugly, and two, they put weight on the PlayStation and it could fall over if you have it somewhere precarious like I do. Now onto the DualSense customization. There are many ways that you can customize your controller, as the same for the PS5 itself. If you can buy modded, fully custom controllers from some companies, paddles and all, However, these controllers are money, so if you don't want to break the bank to buy a fancy new controller, don't panic, I've got you covered. Number 13, if you're brave enough you can disassemble your controller and spray paint it, or you can hand paint it if you're really, really brave, but I've seen some talented individuals do it, but I am not one of those. Number 12, if like me you're feeling less brave, you can buy these decals for the DualSense that just stick on. Okay, so here I have my DualSense. And I have the decal, so we're just going to peel it off. That was incredibly tedious, but I have managed to do it. When you're doing it, you just want to make sure that you use your whole finger to push the stickers down so there's no gaps or air bubbles but I'm really happy with how they turned out I think they look really good. Number 10 you can get these amazing holographic stickers for the PS button I've opted not to go for that option today though and you can get these PlayStation original color stickers that go over the corresponding buttons on the DualSense controller so then it will more closely resemble the old style of controller that's pretty good. Okay, I've got these dual sense face plates here, and all we're going to do is insert them over our dual sense. Now, it's pretty easy to get them on and off, and I'm going to show you how and that looks pretty good. Let's get it off. I'm going to use a sponge. Just going to get it in here, like so, and on this side. Both off, use the thumbs to peel it upwards. And it should come off just like so. Get a new one. Put it back in. And here's the old ones. You can also get these thumb grip covers. And there we go, we have Iron Man. Number eight, you can have these amazing stands for the sides of your desks. And although it's technically not a customization option, it is super handy and space saving, which I love. Number seven, I have this extreme rate LED kit that I'm using to re replace the buttons. These buttons that come with a board with LEDs underneath. Click the card on the right hand side to see an installation video and the link is down in the description below. And here is the finished product. I think it came out very good and it looks amazing. Number six, you can buy and install paddles for the DualSense controller with four extra buttons to remap as you see fit. 
Number five, I've seen these decal stickers that go for the Pulse headset, like these. Number three, you can get replacement thumbsticks all together with different levels of elevation, but I like the ones that the DualSense comes with. Number two, I have these amazing LED lights that stick to the back of my TV and they're gonna change based on the sound in the room. And last but not least, number one, you can get this light up stand from Amazon that plugs into the PS5 USB ports. The PS5 is ready and we are ready to turn it on. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe i make more like it every single week leave a like it really helps others find the video if this video can reach 2000 likes i'll be a very happy man and i will do another video of this type click the button on the left to see another video picked just for you by the youtube algorithm and i will see you in my next video